Hey guys, welcome back to another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at McFarlane Toys Soul Crusher from the Spawn series. On the back of the package we have a picture of the figure itself, and on the side we have some comic art of Soul Crusher. McFarlane action figures are easy to remove from the box without having to tear anything open. But in order to remove the stand, you will have to tear open the plastic glued onto the box. Soul Crusher is one of the newest characters Spawn interacts with in the comics. He's a mysterious soldier who's skilled in both military weapons and fighting. Soul Crusher resents both demons and heaven, wanting Earth to be left alone by both factions. Soul Crusher has his own form of justice and is often in conflict with Spawn's own point of view. While Soul Crusher's backstory isn't revealed at the time of this video, we later learn that there have been multiple Soul Crushers in the past and even more in training. It's not exactly stated which series this Soul Crusher is from. Let's check out the details. The face of Soul Crusher is covered by a black gas mask with the large breathing hose hanging down. The large green hooded cloak covers the rest of the head. More of that large green hood can be seen on the side where we can notice the fine detail in the sculpting. Large straps, belts, and the rest of the breathing hose decorates the chest. Underneath all the gear we have a large plate of steel armor covering the chest with the grey shirt underneath. The back is completely covered by the green hooded cloak, sculpted with waves and more of that rough texture. The cloak is long enough to reach all the way down to the feet. Underneath the cape we can see a few details like the black vest, straps, and the filter for the gas mask. The shoulder has a few pads of black armor stacked on top of each other, with the rest of the wrinkled sleeves covered in a brown grime. The arms have elbow long black leather gloves with a few wrinkles on the wrist. On the waist we can see more details in the belts holding up the various pouches detailed with silver buckles. The right thigh has more belts strapping on the pistol holster onto the thigh. We can also see large silver knee pads strapped onto the legs as well. The other thigh has more tan colored straps holding up the yellow pouches. On the legs the black boots reach up all the way to the knee with the dirt wash effect that brings out the detail in the sculpt, like the laces and more belt straps. We wrap up the details on the figure with the boots, sculpted with a few wrinkles and shoelaces to finish up the detail. Let's take a look at the articulation. The neck articulation is severely hindered by the hooded cloak of the figure. The hood seems to be attached to the head, so the folded cloth restricts almost all movement in this area. The right shoulder is also blocked by the cloak draped over the shoulder. We have normal rotation on the other shoulder as well as open and closes. The bicep rotates but again is blocked by the sculpt. Double jointed elbows. Wrists that rotate and bend up and down. A ball joint at the chest. and another ball joint at the waist. Legs that open and bend forward and back with almost no thigh rotation. Double jointed knees. Ankles that bend up and down and rotate with a rotating foot and a toe that bends up. We have a silver assault rifle with the heavy dry brush of a rust effect. We get a small black pistol with the silver brushed effect. This pistol actually fits into the holster on the figure. And we get a standard McFarlane stand with the Spawn logo on it. Soul Crusher is the latest anti-hero in the Spawn comics and not much is known about him. In a world with demons and angels, we have the standard human figure equipped with military gear that seems common and familiar. He does make the perfect soldier figure to use in any other line, and the paint and sculpting in detail is amazing on this figure at this price point. For the accessories, we do get two weapons to pose the figure with, including his assault rifle tipped with the bayonet. What stopped this figure from being one of the best army builder figures at this size is the severe lack of upper body articulation blocked by his cape. We do have the standard McFarlane body underneath, but the cloak is perfectly sculpted in a way that blocks a lot of the upper body articulation. 
Replacing the plastic cloak with the softer cloth one would unlock this figure's full potential. Overall, Soul Crusher makes a great soldier figure for any collection. You can stick him in as any army grunt that will fit perfectly in this setting. While the hood and cloak are a major part of the character's appearance, I wish there was a way to remove it or have a deluxe version with a cloth cape instead of plastic. For the price, it's a great figure, especially if you need some soldiers in your collection. Soul Crusher as a character might not be fleshed out yet in the Spawn series, but he's definitely a great generic bad guy figure at this time. Alright guys, that's it for this review. More reviews are coming up soon, so check out my other videos or leave a comment while you wait.